In this tutorial, we will model a basic flange coupling. So let's start a new part and we'll select Start 2D Sketch. We'll do this on the XY plane. I'll we'll start off by drawing the flange itself. So let's do this from the origin. Let's use an OD of 165 mil. Then we can draw in the PCD, that's a pitch circle diameter, which in this case we'll choose 127 mil. I'm just going to right click on that PCD and identify it as a construction line. Then we can go ahead and input our mounting holes. So let's just throw in one here. So let's do a 16 mil mounting hole. Let's put a coincident constraint between the center point of that hole and the PCD. And then a vertical constraint between, again, the center point of that circle and the origin. So that's now fully constrained. We can go ahead and circular pattern that. So let's select the hole as the geometry to pattern. But for the axis, we'll choose the origin. We want to have eight instances, uh, and these will be across the 360 degree revolution. We'll press OK. Let's go ahead and 3D model extrude that. Select that profile. I will extrude that by that's 18 millimeters. Okay, next, let's draw a sketch on this face here. So left click once, create 2D sketch. Select the circle tool again, start from the origin. This has an 80 mil diameter. We'll go to 3D model. But extrude that profile by 100 mil. Okay. We can then go and put in the wall thickness. So let's select this face, create 2D sketch. Again, we'll use the circle command and we'll draw in a circle here. Actually, no, let's project the existing geometry. Then we can offset that by the wall thickness. So in this case, eight millimeters, go to 3D model and extrude uh, this profile here. I will extrude cut, we'll go through all, press OK. There we can see we have our through hole. Let's put in some fillets on this part. So let's go fillet, put in a 2 mil fillet on this edge here. And then we'll add a 1 mil fillet on this edge and this one here, press OK. That's looking good. Save that. And then we'll move on to the assembly. And here I've opened up a new assembly file. Let's go to place and let's input our flange here. So I've called this part flange tutorial. Press OK. But yeah, we'll insert two of these. So we'll put one um, grounded. And then for the other one, let's uh, just rotate that so we can right click and rotate about the Y axis. Let's do this twice so we can rotate 180 degrees. Then we'll left click once again, put it roughly in position. I'm just going to go to view and put on shaded with edges. And then we can go and assemble and use the constraint between the center point uh, of this flange, uh, sorry, the axis of this flange and the axis of this one. Click apply, move that to the correct position. And then we can constrain any one of these mounting holes uh, with its opposite on the other side. So let's choose this one, click apply. And then just one more constraint will be the mating constraint between this face here and this face here. Apply, okay. It's now fully constrained. But next we need to insert the fasteners. So for this, uh, instead of drawing the fasteners themselves and inserting them, uh, we can actually choose fasteners from the Autodesk library. So under place, we'll go place from content center. And here I'm just going to turn on a filter, which is the ISO. Uh, so it's going to mark out the ISO parts. And we'll choose bolts. Uh, for this, we'll choose hex head bolts. Uh, and here we'll choose, let's go with ISO 4014, press OK. Uh, left click once and then we can define the bolt we want to input. So we do 16 mil through holes. So let's choose an M16 um, thread. And for the nominal length, we'll choose 65 mil. That's fine. Again, let's rotate this around the Y axis by 90 degrees. Left click once. Then let's go ahead and constrain that to position. So we'll select, uh, first of all, the axis of the bolt and the axis of the through hole. Let's apply that and then we'll mate this face here to the bolt face, click apply. And then one more constraint we'll add to prevent the bolt head from rotating. So we will select the XZ plane and constrain that. Uh, we we'll use the angle constraint, the directed angle with this face here, zero degrees, press OK. Now that bolt head can no longer rotate. Let's then pattern that. So we'll select that bolt, circular pattern. And for the axis, we'll select this cylinder here. For the number of instances, we'll select eight. And for the 
angle. So we want to have one bolt at every 45 degrees, which is 360 divided by eight. It's okay. There are all our bolts, that's great. We'll do exactly the same for the nuts as well. So place from content center. Let's go and uh, nuts, which is a hex nut. Uh, and yeah, ISO 4032. Uh, left click once and M16, press OK. Now I'm just going to click anywhere, constrain. Let's choose the axis of that nut with the axis of this bolt. And again, a mating uh, constraint between this face and the face of the nut. I'll put one more constraint in between this face of the nut and this face of the bolt head. I'll be an angle. Be a directed angle. Press OK. And exactly the same. So let's pattern that nut um, which for the axis. Let's choose the axis of this cylinder. Again, eight instances spread across 45 degree intervals. There we have the fastness complete. And that is the end of the tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. But aside from that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.